Okay, welcome to my studio here in uh, Wyalusing, Pennsylvania. I'm in the um, final stages of a drawing, the beginning stages of a painting, of a street scene uh, in Philadelphia. It's a, uh, a plaza scene uh, near the uh, Logan Fountain. Uh, and I uh, did this from a photograph that I took uh, around the 4th of July. And uh, one of the uh, aspects of this painting that I'm looking forward to is uh, the, uh, the light. I've started to uh, suggest the light uh, by breaking it down into uh, uh, values. Uh, when the video started, that's what I was uh, doing over here, was uh, scumbling in this uh, burnt umber color. Um, but one of the uh, main focuses that I wanted to uh, talk about here in this little uh, video is the uh, uh, drawing issues and the perspective issues. It's a very challenging uh, uh, scheme, uh, design, composition, by virtue of uh, uh, these chess players, uh, but the perspective, uh, it's basically a two-point perspective, uh, and it has uh, one vanishing point uh, out here beyond the canvas and another vanishing point out here. You can see these uh, orthogonals, these perspective lines, that's what they're called, orthogonals, leading out to one about out here, and then another one, all these orthogonals going this way, leading out here. But there's also a third one that is uh, implied by the, um, the grid work of this chessboard, and these lines right here were, to, uh, were very uh, faint. There was some kind of a pattern in the uh, chessboard, but they uh, lead to a, th a third one, which is right up here. This is where the vanishing, this vanishing point is, which is also uh, coincident with the eye level. My height was about the same as these fellows, so our eye levels were all about the same. And um, that was part of the challenge, uh, but drawing this, getting everything lined up right. I use a lot of plumb lines, and you can probably see some of these plumb lines here on these, uh, on these uh, chess pieces here, and I put them here, kind of a, a central axis um, line to go through to uh, keep them uh, symmetrical. Uh, but the, the uh, plumb lines also help to see how things line up with each other. For example, where this lines up with this one, and these also with the uh, uh, cityscape, the buildings, the uh, condominiums in the background. And we also have horizontal a plumb line. So I'm always uh, comparing those and looking at them and uh, 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 appraising how things are lining up. Um, so I'm starting to block in the values here. As I like to say, uh, color gets the credit and we always like uh, good color, but it's really value that does the work. So breaking a painting down into a, a, a distinct uh, scheme of light and dark, that's what value means of, uh, of patterns of light and dark. And this is going to have a really wonderful light. The sun is up here, so it has these cast shadows of the chessmen. But one of the uh, most challenging aspects of, the, uh, of doing this drawing was all of these ellipses. Each chess piece, each uh, king, queen, bishop, and pawn, all has a series of uh, ellipses. And the ellipses also have to be within the perspective uh, scheme, this dimin diminution of going back into space so they get smaller as they go back and larger as they get closer to us. And uh, so they're consistent with this uh, rational system of perspective, which uh, was invented in the Renaissance by Brunelleschi. And whenever I visit Florence, I like to think of Brunelleschi's uh, first experiments and Masaccio's uh, first experiments with that uh, perspective. Um, but when you uh, saw me, I was uh, starting to, uh, to put in uh, the values and the, the same with uh, this uh, one fellow that was playing chess here too. So in a way it's sort of like doing a, a, a drawing but with uh, paint. So I'm uh, starting to uh, suggest all the uh, tones here and um, that's one of the keys is uh, relative values of light against dark. And uh, so I have it kind of simplified and um, uh, broken down into uh, light and dark patterns, but I'm re really looking forward to the next stages of applying the uh, color and paint. So uh, I'm thinking uh, ahead and planning for those uh, stages as I as I go along here and, and paint. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is my really uh, cool easel. It's a uh, on a system of pulleys. It goes up and down, and it also goes uh, left and uh, right. So when I'm sitting here painting, I can, if I want to uh, go up to another area, I can just push it down with a touch of my finger and, uh, and be there. 
Um, I think that's all the main things I wanted to uh, discuss with you. It's about this uh, the drawing aspect of, of painting on a canvas. As you can see, I'm working on a tinted canvas and it has kind of a terracotta value to it. And it's the system that the uh, Renaissance painters used and they all used a tinted canvas. And um, so I look forward to uh, sharing the other aspects of this painting uh, process to you, this uh, figurative painting of a street scene uh, in uh, Center City, Philadelphia. So thanks so much for your attention.